let us start with, with chapter number one. Chapter one, which is iron and steam production. Uh, usually, for any element to produce its alloy, we start with the hole of that element, and this hole is the stone found in mines, then we do some purification to get the element more concentrated with high concentration and this process from the ore to high concentrated element is called extraction extraction process extraction process after getting the pure element or high concentrated element we do alloying to get the alloy of the element. As an example, for example, for the iron, the ore we use in producing iron is hematite Fe2O3 is found with some contaminations and imperfection in the ore. Then we do extraction process to refine the element and we get by the end high concentrated iron high concentrated iron uh, high FPE percent which is called big iron big iron in itself is not useful. It has yani, low properties and is not suitable for industrial application. Therefore, we do another process, which is alloying. We should add some improving elements to get the alloy. What is the alloy we get for iron? Either steel, many types of steels, or this is the history or the stages of reducing steels and cast iron. Number one, we take the ore. How many ores do we have? We have, we have about four ores of FE, of the iron. But the best one is hematite because it contains it contains higher than 70% of Fe. <coughs> Therefore, we prefer, we prefer hematite rather than limonite, siderite, and magnetite. And we can say here, aside, Fe ores, <coughs> hematite, limonite, Siderite and magnetite. The best one is that one, containing 70%. Others lower than this. Okay? This is the first step. When we take the, the iron ore to get the first product, of iron by extraction process. This extraction process is called iron making process. Iron making process. Iron making process. Then the ore will be big iron. I will get big iron. What's big iron? It is, you can say, alloy having too much imperfection, imperfection and contamination and it has and is not 
industrially useful. It's not industrially useful. And you can find, you can find in the market big oil. Why? Because it's not suitable for any industrial application. So we tell not hustle with so a big oil. Then only it is a high concentration of oil. We use this one to get steel for custom. The next process, process number two, steel making. Steel is called steel making. This is in brief how to produce steel or custom. If you look to the notes here given to you, then you will find in the first paragraph In the, in the first paragraph, you will find what our coverage of iron and steel production begins with the iron ores and other raw materials required. What does it mean? It means that we need another raw material other than the ore itself. Okay. Then after this, we then discuss iron making. Can you underline the iron making, the word iron, iron making? Iron making. This is process number one. This is process number one, iron making. What about iron making? In which iron is reduced from the ores? Okay? What will happen here? In which? Iron will be reduced from its will be uh, will be reduced from its ore. What are you about, Ali? What does that mean? Does mean overreduce? You reduce them. Reduce our reduction. Reduce or you can say reduction. Or minimize. Means removing the oxygen. Removing the oxygen. Now it's say, saying iron is reduced from its ore. What is its ore? This one. Now I will reduce that ore by what? What shall I use to reduce that one? I will use CO. What you will get? I will get Fe both and CO2. <coughs> Okay, this is the first reduction equation. The level of, of oxygen has been reduced. The level of oxygen in the ore has been reduced. Now, I will reduce this one also. In the next equation, FeO plus CO again, then I will get what? Fe separate, then CO. This equation 7.3A, this is equation 7.3C. Talk at 119. Page 119. Okay, so by this way, by this way, we can get what? Okay, I I can get Fe from what? <laughs> Where is the start? From this one. This is the start. This is the start. Two steps. But two steps. First step to reduce that one to FEO. Then reduce the FEO to FE. Bureau. What is the name of this process? Iron making. Iron making. This is what happened to iron making. This is what happened to the army. The equation is Mabuda on 9119. Okay. Now we said that we have four ores, four types of ores, and this is found in the next paragraph, the second paragraph. The second paragraph mentioning that we have four ores. Okay? 
Here in the paragraph, mentioning what? Mentioning that this is the iron making process. What are the, the entry? What is the output? What is the input? What is the output of iron making? What shall you add here? Or iron ore, huh? Iron ore. And what? What do we need more? Look here. Look here. Look. Here. This is the ore. Okay. This is the ore. What is this? CO. Monoxide. Carbon monoxide. Shall you get carbon monoxide or another way? I don't have carbon monoxide. I have carbon. I have carbon. How to get carbon monoxide? How to get? I will get that one by this way. Carbon plus what? Oxygen. Oxygen, the cheapest source for oxygen is the air. Giving you CO or maybe or maybe CO2. Therefore, I will get CO from here. Therefore, forget about this. I, I don't give CO. And instead I give what? Both. Therefore, the entry of iron making process are what? Entries, they are not only one. Iron ore and carbon and carbon and help. What is the form of carbon in nature? Shall you give wood or coal? Coal. Coal. And air and to help to help reduction, we put some flux, some flux to help reduction. This flux is limestone, or hagerbeam, limestone. And to enrich the, the metal, to enrich the metal, I put scrap, iron scrap. How many? Five. Five entries. Our five inputs are added to the process, the arm making process. Iron ore, what's the function of iron ore? What's the function? If I ask you, what's the function of iron ore? Source of iron. It is the source of iron. What else, source of iron? Scrap. What else? Scrap. Source of iron is a scrap. Because scrap is already made iron. Okay? Scrap such as the body of broken machines. If you have some broken machine, it is scrap. Uh, also sort of scrap such as the cars, the old cars. You know? They have a big breast. They put one, two, three, four cars or five cars, and then the press, pressing them in a block, small block. And this block transfer to this process. Okay? Forget about the tires, forget about the sofa. All of them can be what? Can be carbon source, the process. <coughs> and then the process run out, run on, about eight hours. Then we have Reaction between C and and uh, by air and limestone helping the reactions and doing what also limestone removing, removing impurities removing impurities and give you slag and give you a layer of slag. Okay. What are the outputs? Outputs. Big iron. Big iron. Big iron. I said what are, huh? not what is. Big iron, this number one. Molten or the solid material? Molten. Because, because this process 
takes place in a fairness. And we have a fairness to do this one. This fairness is called blast fairness. We do this process inside a blast fairness. Inside a blast fairness here. Taking this, giving that. Bigger and what? Slag layer. Slag layer. And too much gases, oxides. Too much oxides. For example, that one, <coughs> CO2. Uh, hot gases, hot gases. Let me remove this equation, not, not to interfere with the others. The equation, all the equations to be removed. They are found on base number one and nine. Okay. If I can come back to the subject, when uh, we then discuss uh, iron making, in which iron is reduced from the ores. Now, understood. Akuma, and what? And what? Steel making. And steel making. Underline steel making. This is number two. If a number one is made, number one, iron making. iron making, and number two is steel making. This is steel making. It's also done in a furnace. Steel. Steel making. Hmm? The steel making is done in furnace called basic oxygen furnace. Basic oxygen furnace. Take care of all the spelling. Take care of the spelling. Copy the words correctly with the correct spelling as you see it on the board. Don't do mistakes in the spelling. <laughs> Sometimes I find the word fairness like this. Look here and look here. Please be sure of the spelling of the word. Therefore, I advise you too much and highly to read the notes and to get the textbook. You should get the textbook and read it. Okay. Now, we move the big iron, molten state, get into the steel making process in the furnace. Uh, big iron, molten big iron. Number two, pure O2, not air, not air, but O2. Then number three, steel scrap. Steel scrap. Steel scrap means only steel scrap, not any other material. يعني أنا لا لا ما يصير إنك تحط هنا سيارات فيها سيارات وفيها صوفة وفيها وفيها. Okay هنا هنا you should put very clean steel and defined steel scrap. Okay, three inputs by the output will get. Steel, the required alloy, and gases, and slag, and slag. This is in brief here what the two stages or two processes take, uh, taking place to produce steel. If I, the first question, can I ask you? Can we produce steel direct? Or no, no. Through two stages. Stage number one, I will get what? Big iron. By the iron making process. Big iron. I will take big iron and get steel. And the material here. This is the 
important output. This is the input. If it's the same, then I will get steel. So, what is the chemical formula for big iron? Composition. El composition. Now your uh, friend or your colleague asking, what is the chemical composition of a big iron? Too much, too much elements. If you look at uh, page uh, 119, if you look at page 119, you'll find the answer found here. Found here, third paragraph below equation 7-4. Third paragraph below equation 7-4. The iron tap from the base of the blast furnace, called big iron, contains over than 4% carbon. Is it little or too much? Too much. Meaning, how did you decide in then too much? How? How did you decide in the 4% metal carbon too much? More carbon content. The steel. Starts with 0 0.08 low carbon steel, hence at about uh, 2.4. This for steels, all families of steels. For cast iron, starts from 2.5 and a 2.75. Where is 4? Too much. But is not steel and is not cast iron. Mm. It is something unuseful. Something unuseful. Has ba very bad mechanical properties. This one. Mechanical properties very bad. And we we search for the iron due to its properties, mechanical properties. Therefore, we improve the big iron by this process to get steel. OK. Uh, not only 4% carbon, but other impurities. Udi taban mish matluba minnek. Is not required that you have the nisab of the anasir in the big iron. ولكن بس كيكفي إنك تحفظ إنه فيه كم 4% carbon. وبالتالي هو ما يسمح. And too much percent of other uh, of other elements. Okay. Look at this figure. This is the blast furnace. Page number 118. It is the blast furnace to produce one ton of big iron. If I want to produce one ton, one ton of big iron. How much, how many tons of these elements are required? You need to produce one ton of big iron, you need seven tons of the charge without this, uh, sorry, without scrap, without yani, taking consideration with the scrap. Scrap is not uh, uh, taken into consideration because scrap is already made iron. Okay, we have iron ore. How many tons of iron ore is found on page number 7? equations are good. Below uh, equation 7-4, we will find the second paragraph. It is instructive to, look, to note that approximately 10 tons of raw materials are required to produce one ton of big iron. Can the leading back there of iron ore camp? Two tons. Um, Million air. The limestone. The coke. One. One. Two tons, seven ton. To get a protein, one ton of. The manual is important. I mean, these ratios are very important for you. Now, 
to the construction of the furnace. Uh, please follow me, I will construct the furnace step by step and show it to you. It is very easy. It is very easy. Now if you look like this, first glance, now one again now another, complicated and too much lines and so on. But when I explain to you and give you the details, it will be very simple. First of all, there is a steel sheet, steel sheet in this shape, conical shape, vertically, like this. And if you look to page number, the first page, if you look at the first page, last paragraph, you will find the dimension. Last paragraph in the first page, you will find the dimension. How much is the diameter? Per meter. In meter, 9 to 11. 9 to 11, say it is 10. 10 meters diameter. And how much high? 40, 40 meters. <coughs> 10 meters, you know, larger than this room. This is the diameter, larger than this room. And 40, uh, 40 meters height, what does it mean? How many stories? How many stories? Can door? Can yes. door say, for example? Three. 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 Okay? Can? Thirteen. Thirteen stories. Thirteen floor. Yeah, it's a pleasure door. This is the height of the blasphemy. The most important note that you should, when you draw the furnace, you should take care of the ratios between the height and diameter. Yani if you draw here one, then the height will be four. Yani one to four, or four to one, the height to the diameter. Yani if you do it like this, it's not accept accepted. If you do the diameter nearly to the height, okay, half of the height, all of this wrong, only one quarter. The diameter is one quarter of the height. It's very important, okay? What is this one? What is this line? What is this line here? Oh, it's mentioned here. Look. Yeah. Steel shell. Steel shell formed in this shape. Then to protect the steel shell against the high temperature bound in the furnace, we apply some lining. We put some refractory material here to protect the shell against the high temperature. It's called what? Refractory line. It's written here. Look. It's written here. Show for the under for us. Refractory line. Okay? And then after this, then there are two subboards, or yeah, more than two. One here, one here, to support the furnace. And this furnace is what? Going conically like this, for smaller diameter, and then cylindrical. Where is the line? Okay. Now, to take the gases, to collect the gases, there, is two, uh, there are two type, uh, pipes, one pipe like this, one other pipe like this. And both of them are collected in another gas collector here. Living the output in this pipe. Here, you can say hot gases. Hot gases coming outside from here. Now, the problem is here. This opening, okay? It's an orifice from which we'll drop the charge. Ahana, charge will be dropped from here. But, shall you leave? The orb is open like this, open top. 
pressure will be dropped if you leave this orifice. Pressure <coughs> will drop down here. And you want to keep the high pressure inside the balloon. High pressure, the height pressure. Therefore, we should close that one and enable what? Enable delivering the charge without opening the furnace. How to do this? To do this, we uh, close from here. Look, we close from here, and we close from here, and then we put here small chamber, small chamber, and under this small chamber, there is a, a bigger chamber here. Uh -huh. The smallest chamber will receive the material, will receive the charge. Therefore, we'll add a funnel like this, or conical shape like this, then small chamber. After this, there is large chamber. Okay, I will add this one. I will add this one here. What is the name of this one? Conical shape here. What's the name is written here? Charge hopper. Hopper yani inverted cone. Inverted cone. Okay? Then, how to close this chamber? How to close this chamber? We have two chambers. Big one and small one. Big one we use inverted bell like this. Bell. Are you bell or not? Cone. Okay? And is mounted by strength. Okay? Then the other one is also closed by small bell. Small cone. This string and that string are connected here to the control. Control is here. To open one and close the other. Open one and close the other. And if you open the small bell, what about the large one? Closed. And if you open the large one, what about the small one? Closed. Therefore, we open only one and keep the other closed. Therefore, we can deliver the charge from here to here while, and from here to here while the furnace is closed. It's closed. Therefore, we keep the pressure constant and temperature by this way. Then, the charge to give many what? Charge will be delivered by this bridge. There's a bridge. There is a bridge here. It's written here what? Escape bridge. Escape bridge. For, uh, or conveyor. Okay. For what? For charging the furnace with ore and what? Cook and limestone. I will air from other part. Air will be uh, pressed or charged from other part. Then. The charge will come from down up here and be dropped here inside the smallest one. After throwing many times when we fill here, that one will be dropped down. What will happen to the charge if the smallest pen or a bell come down? So لو أزحنا البيل الصغير ده لتحت، إلا يحصل إن الشارج اللي فوق يتول drop down here صحلا. Then, and then close again, charge and drop, and then charge and drop and so on. So when the amount here will be collected, then we close that one and open the biggest one to drop the whole amount down inside the furnace. Furnace is closed. Okay? Gases will flow here. Gas will flow up here, through these pipes, and collected here in this collection and come out here. Good. Now, the air. What about the air? What's the name of this pipe? Don't, Don't come up. What's the name of uh, this, these gases? Blast furnace gas to clean plant. Uh, what is the name of this pipe? 
Now, what will happen if we connect the, this pipe to the direct to the body of the furnace? What will happen? We are doing the iron leakage. Huh? Iron leakage. Air must be air. Oxygen. Therefore, any part with the air come in, it will make fire and burning and reaction. Look at cross section here. Let us take a cross section of the furnace and this pipe here. What shall you see? Or top view. Let us start with top view. Top view at uh, this section. I will find this is the furnace body and this is the pipe of the air directly connected to the furnace and the charge is found here. What do you expect? Air come here and stop. Making fire and re re reactions only at this zone. What about the other zones? Nothing. Therefore, to keep uniform distribution of the air, to keep uniform distribution of the air, what shall you do? Take the air all around the furnace in a pipe like this. Then the air will circulate like this here. Okay? After this, we'll, we'll take small pipe to the furnace all over the cross section all around the furnace. Now I keep uniform distribution of the air all around the furnace. Okay? Therefore if you if you do section here here if you do section here section here but shall you you see this pipe it will appear in a circle shape. So, this pipe, circle here, and two lines here. Or here, iron, also a, a circle. Yeah, and you will find it like this. Look. This pipe will be connected to the section of the other pipe, and the other pipe extends horizontally like this, and this is the section from the other. Okay. And what are these? These are the small pipes connect to the fence. Of the name of this one, the small pipe. Of the name of this pipe, the kabira, the sagira is called tires. Tires, okay. Well, the big one, the one on the circumference, bustle pipes. Yeah, these bustle pipes. And the U one R. Your e s fires and bustle and so okay so friend uh, keeping the hot plus uh, the hot plus air eight hours eight hours reduction will take place reactions melting the charge 
you will get by the end of this uh, process you will get amount of steel uh, of iron big iron here big iron having small layer of slag and the whole furnace is empty خلاص كله احترق غازات طلعت ودي نزل خلاص اصبح فاضي اوكي then we we tap يعني tap tapping tapping يعني drive the multimeter we drive the multimeter from here we drive the slag from here okay what's the name of that one trough trough okay boring the multimeter fin what is the vessel receiving the multimeter? Level, big iron, level, car. Railway. Can you railway? Railway, car. No train. Railway. The masana, the iron making, the steel making, and the same in the same area. Both processes, iron making and steel making are found in the same area and connected by railway uh, transportation. Therefore, you will find a railway car having a big level here, and the other one smaller, but also railway. Why railway? Because we transfer molten metal from here to here. To, uh, sorry from here to the steel making, okay? And you will find also in aluminum production using transport, transportation of multimeter. Okay, do you have any question uh, concerning this furnace or this process at all? Fia is right. Tons you can get of big iron. Two hundred tons you can get after eight hours. After this eight hours, you will get here two hundred tons of big iron. Corona elephant. Where shall you take this one? To the steam making. Look at these. 119, here, you will find the title, steel making. You will find steel making here, the other stage. The other stage. Now we have big iron. Now we have big iron. This amount of big iron, either G, steel, or will be <laughs> Big iron to be transferred either to cast iron or to steel. And yet, what we use big iron for both. To reduce both. Can I have this term? Big iron, the tasnamin, lithium. Steel and cast iron. Steel through basic oxygen furnace. Basic oxygen furnace. And we get cast iron in tubular. Furnace. And uh, incubular furnace. But we have two variants. Q 
Ich will ein Fernes, das geht fast hier. Wir sind jetzt ein Fernes, das geht Steve. Im Boot, wir haben was bigger Blas, das Scrap. Wenn du produzierst, das ist ja, was sort of Scrap du willst put? What sort of Scrap I should put here? Das ist ja ein Scrap. And if you, if you have a machine, for example, the center lift machine is broken, or part of it, cast iron is broken, then you will take it to the furnace of cast iron, cumulative furnace, as cast iron scrap. But if you are talking about producing the steel, what sort of scrap you will put in addition to the big iron? Steel, steel scrap. Here, here I will put big iron plus steel scrap. And what sort of steel scrap? If you if you intend long now, and you want to get alloy steel, then put alloy steel scrap. Stainless steel, stainless steel scrap. And even the steel scrap is sorted according to the type of steel. And it it varies or it varies on the basis of the steel. Okay, look at page number. Uh, 120, 120. This is the basic, <coughs> this is the basic oxygen furnace. This is the basic oxygen furnace. Three bars, only three bars. Only three bars. Let us remove here and clean the board. What are the three bars found? In this furnace. And then vessel, food, and bike. This is a vessel. Vessel, and this is the hood. This is the hood, and this is the bike. Three bars. Three bars. Very small. We remove the the bike out. We remove the hood. Hood means uh, gases collector. Gases collector. Okay. Remove the bike. Remove the hood. Then. Pour the big iron here. Pour the big iron here, and then the scrap, additives, and O2, uh, and O2. You know that big iron has too much um, uh, percentage of impurities: silicon, phosphor, sulfur, and unrequired uh, elements. Therefore, we want to uh, remove all these metals through O2. Through O2, which will be bumped here. Four hours. It will take four hours. Quantity is 200 tons. For four hours, you'll get steel. Okay, the steps are found in the other figure. Steps are found here in the other figure. Step number one, first of all, adding what? Look here, the scrap, adding the scrap at the first chip, uh, bar. Number two, boring what? Bigger. Number three? Blowing. O2, blowing, O2, uh, throw the metal for four hours, for four hours. Number four, the molten steel. Then we, we tell to the furnace other side. Yani we, we, we remove the steel this side, and then tell the other side for pouring what? That's like. Railway transportation, or Railway. Railway cars. Okay, now we get the steel. What do you note? What do you note in 
بارد نمبر فور يلا احمد اسمك احمد يلا ابو زيد صح يلا قول لي ايه وات دو يو نوت انت معاك الورق دي ولا طب واحد يقول لنا ايه هو وات دو يو نوت بارد اديتيف اديتيفز ار فيري امبورتنت يعني فور اكزامبل يا اخوه نيكل اند كروم بوث ايليمنتس ويتش ميك The steel, stainless steel, to be stainless steel. Corrosion resistance. Chrome and nickel. Percentage of chrome and nickel. And so on. You can control the percentage of elements to get whatever you want of steel type. Bar number four. Not only uh, tabbing the metal, but also adding the additives with. Okay? Okay, uh, up to here we'll stop. Okay, thank you, and uh, inshallah we'll complete next time. Let's carry on up with the other